Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, the childhood friend from so long ago that you can't be sure you didn't imagine them. And today it is time for episode 27 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And today, we are pretty much just going for it. Uh, it's time to look in the graveyard and have a explore, have a little rummage around in all of these places that we saw but didn't uh, click on anything last uh, last episode. It's a real shame about the murder, isn't it? Hard to have a good time when everyone's so worked up. I'm trying though. I really am. I'm off to hunt crows. Well, I mean, gotta get you jollies somehow, I suppose. I think this is the Statue of the Silent Goat. Our much beloved deity. Protector of humanity, sort of, in exchange for the destruction of much of humanity. I've got to admit, most of these uh, outer gods are a little bit uh, inscrutable. Anyway, so I'm not sure what these are. Access logs for the graves, maybe? Lists of who's been buried here and when? This is the grave of Ais Kiwami. He was old school syndicate and one of the council members. The grave plaque says he died 25 years ago. There's an inscription. Heartbreakers, lifesavers and brothers under the cosmos. Ais Kiwami's blood vial. This island is built on blood. Blood connects all secrets. What about Henry's blood? Damn, a match. Eyes was Henry's father. That's exciting. A council member had a relationship with a citizen and now we have Henry. Eyes Kiwami blood sample. Well, that's interesting. Certainly curious. I'm not sure if or how it would tie into any of the mysteries we're actually trying to solve. Um, I suppose it might be relevant to the mystery of what happened to Henry Division as a child and whether how he got a demon in him. Blood vial, Grace Bloodlines. Blood vials are sealed into coffins so they cannot be used illicitly after death. Why is one last kiss directing me to Grace Bloodlines' blood vial? This is the grave of, grave of Grace Bloodlines, Henry's murder victim from when he was arrested. Starlight can verify that this is her blood vial. Haunted, complex, crescent, drifting sands, satellite. Well, that's her unique blood code. This is Grace Bloodlines' blood vial. Why does one last kiss want me to find this? Do you understand, Investigator? Starlight confirms this is Grace Bloodline's blood vial. Haunted complex, crescent, drifting sands, satellite. That's the blood code from the vial, correct? You could only know that code if you were Grace Bloodline's, our chief exorcist. You were murdered by Henry when he was arrested. Those are facts, but are they the truth? What keeps someone from moving on? An obligation? A purpose? An unending rage? Your murder was a setup, or was it wrong place at the wrong time? Who can say? The truth is all around you, investigator. You should read this. What is it? The official report of the murder of Grace Bloodlines. What about the Holy Seals? I had been waiting for that question. Do you know something about them? Another time, investigator. Wait, I'm not done with you. Investigator, aren't you happy about last night? Hard to be happy about a mass murder. That depends on your perspective. You have benefited directly from this mass murder. No more exile for the great investigator. There is corruption on this island, investigator. Demonic taint is the least of our worries when the syndicate is rotten. I guess you could identify the demonic taint <laughs> by its rotten smell. Gross. This council deserved nothing less. It sounds like you have a motive. 
The Syndicate is built on dead bodies. Egos and ambition can only be sustained by death. I'm a casualty on the path, left to bleed out for someone's benefit. Can you imagine what benefit that would be, Investigator? The Council deserved to die, sliced to ribbons. Are you admitting to the crime? Wouldn't that be too easy, Investigator? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Maybe I was there, maybe I wasn't. Maybe I helped, maybe I didn't. Do you know who did it? Yes and no. I have some answers, but not all. Where were you at the time of the murder? I have no alibi, Investigator. You're the only person on this island that knows I exist. And did you murder the Council? Of course not, Investigator. They deserve to die, but they deserve to be murdered by someone else. I have a vested interest in the whole system coming down, not the top players. If I may offer some advice, the Syndicate are all backstabbers. If you believe there is a conspiracy, break one of the suspects at trial. They'll crumble and will turn on each other. I look forward to our next conversation, Investigator. I do hope you have more interesting questions. An unknown player in this madness. Who is she and what does she want? She disappeared. She's a spirit lingering in this world, driven by rage and revenge. Perfect. There's more to her death than the official story. If she was murdered as part of some kind of plot, that gives her a real motive for killing the council. Let's look at the reports of her murder. Henry became possessed and the arresting officer was Aikiko. Aikiko requested the presence of Grace Bloodlines, the syndicate's exorcist. During the exorcism, Aikiko left the room and Henry took the opportunity to kill Grace by strangulation. His demonic strength allowed him to break through his restraints and quickly kill her. He apparently carved the same symbol scorched into his skin, into Grace's body. Before his arrest, Henry murdered his own mother, Rena, Rena Division. He strangled her and scorched her body with demonic sigils. Doomsh has examined the bodies and confirmed it. Henry was subdued, arrested and pronounced guilty without trial. One last kiss seems to think this isn't so straightforward. I need to speak to Akiko about the lapse in procedure and Henry to see if he remembers anything, which is unlikely. Maybe Doomchest can help since he examined the victims. I mean, we know that Akiko has a habit of ignoring procedure. My theory is, is still that he was kind of intentionally inculcated with a demon for the purpose of creating some kind of weapon. Um, although, whether to use against the Syndicate or by the Syndicate to use against someone else, or whatever dissidents they want to point him at, I suppose, I do not know. Not really have any, one, any way to tell one way or the other yet. see, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it, which is a shame, because this seems like exactly the right place to hide a little secret. Even if it's just a whiskey jar. I think that's everything there is to see in here. What was the deal with Grace Bloodlines' blood vial? Or Ice Kiwami, rather. It's not clear what his kind of sphere of influence was in the Syndicate, because they've all got something. Doctor, soldier, courier, architect, administrator, they've all got they've all got some kind of role. I mean they're kind of like gods themselves in that in that respect. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I suppose this is just where Grace is gonna hang out. I really like her design. I like her design. It might be my favourite out of the designs so far. Her anatomy is busted, as seems to be the case with most of these, but the design is good. Although I can't help but read the discs on her head as being very similar to like big frog eyes. I'm not sure that's what they're supposed to represent. Maybe something more like pie charts, but that's what it seems to me. Ah, looks like there might be some other stuff to gather up here at the very top of the temple as well. 
Symbols of secrets. Do you have secrets? Good. How much do they cost? Can I buy them? What's your price? I don't know. Uh, actually, maybe I should talk to her again right now. Maybe I can grill her for something. Oh wow! I can just I can ask her about all of the all of everything, just like all of the other characters. I can also hang out on demonology. I suppose I can ask her about demonology specifically because she was the exorcist. Um, as you may have noticed, my throat is kind of busted. I'm getting getting very scratchy, sore throat vibes. This happens occasionally if I stream too much or if I am too cold at night because my whole body is fucked up now, uh, and especially my throat. So. I think I will stick to exploring for a little bit, and next episode... <gasps> Soda! Uh, next episode we'll come back and get the full lowdown from from poor, poor slaughtered Grace bloodlines. But before that, I just want to wander around and find things so that I don't have to talk quite so much. D2! Otherwise known as flipping a coin. Relic obtained. The elusive chocolate. A chocolate flavoured drink only sold in remote locations. Hard to find, but worth it. Lady Love dies. Well done on drinking every drink. You must need to pee something hellish. Listen, I got you a little something to say thanks. How do you like a new Starlight skin? This one's real good. Here you go. Thanks. This is it, I guess. Good luck. Enjoy the end of the island. See you on the next one. Oh, cool. CD soundtrack cover. The cover of the Paradise Killer OST on CD by Jose Salot. That looks pretty cool. Let's try that one out. It's been a while since we changed it. I wish there was a, like, flick to the bottom option. That's really cool. I actually like that better than most of the other drawings uh, of the various characters. It's a different artist than did the main art for the game, clearly. Have not looked up who it was, because obviously this is a blind let's play. I don't know what I'm going to find. I feel like this is a better example of the art that it is than the character portraits are examples of the kind of art that they are, if you get what I mean. Although I do think it's a little bit disappointing that she looks less... That's fat. Like, one of the... Th like, she's... Like, Lady Love Dies isn't, like, fat fat, but she's kind of chubby. And it's just nice to see that represented uh, on a character in a video game for once. Especially on a woman. Let's see what this is. This looks weak. I could probably smash it with something. Oh, okay, I guess that means I need to come back when I have a smashing object. What the hell? Maybe I'll find, like, a sledgehammer somewhere? So I have... I have no idea, actually, now, whether whether Grace is a, a new character added for the, uh, for the update, which I know... I complained about a while back about how I, I don't really like the addition of... Like I don't like I don't like a work of art being changed out from underneath me before I have a chance necessarily to explore it to the extent that I want to. You know, I'm not going to reiterate everything I said back then, but you know, I think it's a problem that the version of this game that was originally released and that was pretty popular for like a year or two before they released an update um is fundamentally different. There's different characters in different places, you know? There's di there's additional storyline stuff happening. <laughs> If it's just something superfluous that doesn't blend into the main story, it's kind of inoffensive and I don't mind. Additionally, if it's kind of hived off into a separate zone uh, that you only go to for special DLC stuff, that's also fine too. But this does just feel weird to me. And I just, I have no idea. I have no idea if Grace is part of the, the core game. 
Because she seems kind of important. But also, like, she could just be plugged in, you know? And how the hell do I get up there? I saw something on top of this place. I don't think that's gonna do it. There has to be a way up there. I might look that up and come back for it next episode because I, I don't think I can be bothered to just stand here trying to jump over and over and over again because that will get on my nerves pretty quickly. But I can't seem to see a way up there and I can't jump far enough to get there from the other dome. Oh well. Anyway, I can't believe I found all of the dead nebulas. That's kind of astonishing. I genuinely did not think I would achieve that so quickly. On the other hand, I am starting to run out of places to explore. I think I've seen most of the game world. Um, there's a few places left to go. The main thing now is probably to go back to everybody that I have previously talked to and talk to them all again and uh, try and sit, shake some truth loose from these people. Aha. Oop, fuck. Well, that was only a crystal. Who cares? It's only a crystal. So, oh, there's another one. I say immediately caring again. Well, 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 well. Very interesting. So, yeah, I still, I still deeply feel that, that Henry was created as a weapon in some kind of way. And I don't mean literally created as a weapon. I don't think he came off a production line or out of a tube. But I think they intentionally inflicted a child with, with demon vibes for the purpose of pointing him at people they didn't want. The question is, did someone find that out and use him against the people who created him? Or was he created to be used against the council in the first place? There are a lot of mysteries left to, to uncover with regards to that. For now though, is there anywhere I haven't really been? I've been to Kayax's workshop, we've been to the ziggurat and the graveyard. We can't get into the reality folding drive. We've had a good look at the agri fields and the deep factory. I wonder if there's a way into the deep factory. And there's definitely something going on with the pyramid, but uh, we can't get in there either. So I suppose my options are just pick a person and go around them all? Or I could try and pro progress on specific crimes. I still don't know where to where to look with regards to K-Hacks. But I definitely have additional points to raise with pretty much every single person. But yeah, I'm a little bit out of, out of leads. There is one last location that I'm going to go to. which is the sort of the high place behind the council building. And I think that's the last like actual zone kind of area for me to look at. It might be worth climbing some of these and having a look around from a, a high position so that I can spot if there's anything else I need to go see that I haven't had a look at. I should remember to go pick that thing's nose as well. Aha! There we go. So this leads up to the final little place I haven't looked. I think this is the biggest statue on the island, and it is also a statue of uh, the silent goat. Relic obtained. Island sequence 003. A time for sorrow. Ezekiel dissolves into mad paranoia, fearing for our future and the demons. He murders so many of us. The noble Montserrat steps forward to end his madness and lead us to light. I really hope we can shake something loose from, uh, you know, what's his name over on the island, the inveterate twink, uh, the accused murderer, the last surviving citizen of Paradise Island 25, or 24 rather. Henry Division. Oh fuck. Well, uh, it's gonna take me a second to get back up there. Here we are, back up on top of here. 
wherever here is. Maybe this is just where they store all their religious shit that doesn't fit in the temple. It does seem to be a lot of uh, statues and icon iconography and whatever these things are, which I would not hate having in my own house. I think they're pretty cool. Relic obtained. Nauseating offering gems. Gems that are offered to the gods via ingestion. Huh, interesting. Sort of a reversed, re reverse Eucharist gastrolith situation. <laughs> uh, I do love, uh, I do love to worship a pretty busty god. Get it? Because these are busts in the artistic sense that they're just torso figures. Yeah. Oh, hey, Shin. You ever think about how messed up this is? All the time. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I haven't even presented the theme of the conversation. Sorry, I thought it was a general existential question. Exo really did a number on you, huh? You guys are the bad guys. What do you mean? The syndicate worship dying gods that want to rule the world and drown it in a sea of war and blood. I don't see how that makes us bad guys. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't. We're all heroes in our own minds, right? Catch you later. So, see, the problem with this is that I've been identifying Shinji's commentary as Socratic questioning from the, the writer directly to the player of this game. Um, I think that fits, but here, if that's the case, that's so blunt, so I, I feel compelled to seek a deeper meaning, which would be clearly, you know, if the surface meaning is, hey, have you ever considered that maybe just because you're the protagonist of this story, that doesn't mean you are the good guys, um, then presumably the deeper reading underneath that is to make you consider, well, what if it is possible to be the good guys while also being the guys who worship existential nightmares from beyond time and space which wish to destroy all of human uh, endeavor and existence in which in which circumstance you kind of have to back it up with the rest of the themes of the narrative or at least try to or at least gesture towards it or at least have something so I guess I have to conclude that that really is just the surface level question, which reinforces my critical uh, like thesis with regards to this game the whole way through. Which is that the people writing this game think they're a lot smarter than they are. And uh, think that they have a lot more interesting stuff to say than they do. And will, you know, gesture vaguely at an interesting ta take, and then really only have the most surface level banal component of that take. Etc, etc, etc. Anyway, I wonder what we'll find up here. Maybe there's an NPC I haven't met yet. Or a creepy painting. That's good too. The Defeat of Lost Pain. This was before he managed to flee to the dark side of the moon. A popular song on the islands is Railgun Love. The lyrics are about using a railgun to destroy the moon and kill Lost Pain before he kills us. The bass in it is really good. Painted by Lydia Daybreak. See, I would honestly enjoy that if it was just more about using a railgun to destroy the moon to impress your date. You know, there's something fairly kind of like classically traditionally romantic about that kind of idea. Whereas using a railgun to destroy an ancient evil that's putting human existence at risk is, is just less fun and less romantic. It's it's too epic. It's too important. Why can't people why can't people just destroy the moon on a whim for the purpose of of impressing someone they like? God forbid women do anything. Anyway. Exclusive silent goat carving. Silent Goat, the first to speak to us, the Holy Catalyst. So I guess that's all that's up here. There might be some interesting stuff on the roof. Oh, hey, that's there's a song over there. So yeah, there's definitely some interesting stuff to find on the roof of the council building, including possibly more clues. And I really feel like there must be something up on the top there with all the radio antennas, but that will be for next episode. So after this point, there's really only two things left for me to do. Number one, is to go back to the radio antenna now that I have unlocked all of the hacking tools, which is over there somewhere. 
In fact, it's over there specifically. And uh, check everybody's cell phone records. And the other is to go around to each individual person and question them all individually all over again. And I suppose the third is to go talk to Grace. But that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you for joining me. Come back next time if you'd like to find out more weird stuff about a strange place that really could be weirder and stranger, frankly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.